Every gamer knows that the summer is the absolute drought of all gaming. But whatever we've been doing on our summer vacation? Dude, flip me. I'm, I'm browning. Definitely not that. <laughs> AKA Isaiah 41B10. That's a mouthful. SMB Dominator 335. Looking brown as fuck. And on this very special summer vacation uh, episode of Reviews and Whiskey, we're going to be looking at an absolute gem of a game, uh, Warframe. We're also going to look at some gaming news. Yeah, uh, Gamescom uh, was in Germany this year. So we'll uh, stay tuned for that. Yeah. But first, let's get into the pregame. <laughs> Today on the pregame, we're going to be looking at Virginia Black American Whiskey. Funny enough, this whiskey was actually co-created by Drake. Call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need me. Uh, rapper, singer, I guess actor, extraordinaire. Um, upon first smell, I thought I got some notes of maple, but I think I really got notes of Last Call at the Bar. Um, I gotta say, the taste is nothing extraordinary, nothing to write home about. Dom, what would you think? I have to agree with you. I mean, when it comes to, uh, comes to uniqueness, it's just not there. I can say that with confidence now because, I mean, Robert Patterson from Delmo Whiskey, he truly showed me um, how to taste the whiskey. You can see it too if you check our Instagram page out. But for those of you who didn't, you start out with the glass. You look at it, right? You see the whiskey. You smell. How you doing? You talk to it. You come back to it. It's doing okay. Yeah, one more time. You, just, you get those flavors. It's not doing too well. Then, what you do, you put it in. Mm, 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 mm. Keep it there. Keep it there. Big impact. This is not 10 years old. It's not 20. It's not 30. It's not 40. Mm, 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 mm. Big impact. Mm. Keep it there. Keep mm. it there. Keep it there. Mm. It's not 10 years, it's not 12 years, it's 15 years. It's not good. That's my review. <laughs> so now it's what we do best, the reckoning. This week on The Reckoning, on this very special summer vacation episode of Reviews and Whiskey, as you can tell by our set, we're going to be looking at an absolute gem of a game in this drought. <laughs> <laughs> called Summer. Uh, we're going to be looking at Warframe. This game actually came out in 2013. Critics really didn't like it, but fortunately enough for us, the developers heard the critics and they made it better. They made it playable and I got to actually say I enjoyed it. But for more about the game, Dom. Absolute gem. I mean, you, you hit it on the head with that one. I mean, this game is, first of all, this game is free. You're probably thinking, how good can a free game actually be? Cut it short, Halo meets Dead Space meets Ninja Gaiden. You play the character named Tenno, you cruise the solar system, and you can do it with your friends, you can customize your colors, your ships, your abilities, endless possibilities, and it's free. Let's get into it. As always, first on the list, graphics, Kimosabi. What do you have? Graphics, I give it a four. As Dom said before, this was a free-to-play game, so I was very impressed with the uh, level of detail in this game. 4K, moving at a blazing 60 frames per second. Your ship, which you call home for the entirety of the game, was highly detailed. Your Tenno, which is the main character, was highly detailed. The only criticism I can really say is once you got in, in the field, um, it wasn't as detailed as a ship or Tenno. Dom, what do you think? I'm going to have to disagree. I mean, you gave it a good, soar, good score, but i got to give it at least a 4.5. I mean, I thought whether you're on the ship or off the ship, mm -hmm. everything was just crisp. I mean, it was absolutely outstanding. Um, you're moving at an insane speed during the entire course of the game. For an, a, a game as fast-paced as that, yeah. to have that kind of frame rate, I mean, it's just, again, completely, completely outstanding. Okay. I mean, and just for the viewers, we are playing it on an Xbox One X um, on a 4K TV. So controls, Dom, what do you got? I have to give it a 4.5. I mean, I thought it was absolutely flawless. Flawless victory. I mean, at the start, they give you a basic tutorial that tells you, you know, how to, you know, operate your ship, how to, you know, use the mods, how to, you know, upgrade your abilities, you know, 
progress in the story, it, it leaves you nothing but prepared for what you're about to get yourself into. Okay. What you got? Well, just really quick, you gave it a 4.5, but you also said it was flawless. So I guess there is a flaw? I don't need you to penalize my, my vocabulary. Penalize? <laughs> penalize. So controlled, I would also give it a 4.5. I couldn't give it a perfect or a flawless 5 because um, there were times that I probably did hit the wrong button. Um, but I, I gotta say that the controls were very well done. Um, really, no complaints. So then you gave it a 5. It's since you have no complaints, right? Oh, well, again, I did hit the wrong button a couple times. So that's a complaint. That, that's, that, that's your fuck up, not a game fuck up. Thank you for your absolutely um, flawless review on controls. Um, again, I'm sitting on pins and, he pins and needles here, man. What do you got for story? So for story, I have to give it a flawless. Flawless victory. Two. This is the only part in the game that I really think that faltered. Um, the story was basically just a long tutorial to get you from planet to planet. I kind of understand it in this type of game, but I can't really give the story a high score. Have to give it a two. I you gotta know. say, man, unfortunately, I, I understand. I also gave it a two. Flawless two? A fl a absolutely flawless two, man. Don't nice. penalize me for that one, nice. but a flawless two. Nice. Uh, it was the worst part of the game. I mean, yeah. there's no cinematic trailers that kind of keep you um, on the edge of your seat or keep you engaged. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's they kind of give you a story, but you know, if, if you're skipping it, if anything, I mean, there's right. there's no reason to stay and watch it. So yeah, so we got it too. So replayability is next. Dom, what do you got? Uh, playing simple, I give it a four. I mean, I plan on playing this game for I want to say a very long time. I'm gonna play, you know, in between games. You know, Spider Man, Red Dead, the new hotness that you know, the new hot games that are coming out soon. Um, but again, giving it a four. Uh, how about you? Yeah, I give replayability a four as well. Um, this is an online RPG. Uh, there's a reason why this game has been around since 2013. It's a free-to-play game, but I guess because of the revenue that they generate, they keep updating this game and making it better. There's always new Warframes to farm, loot to farm. So I give it a four. Highly replayable. Question of the day. The million-dollar question. Mm. Were you entertained? Well, I gave entertainment 3.5. Um... During my play sessions, I was generally entertained. My only uh, criticism would be that during long play sessions, it got a little stale because you do do a lot of these missions over and over again. But that is par for the course for this type of game. Dom, what'd you think? I have to give it a five. I mean, it was it's a free game, so I went into thinking... How good can this game actually be that is free? So lowered expectations. Lowered expectations. It was, my, my expectations were low, man. Yeah. But I played it, I mean, and it was just, it, it's so much fun. I'm playing with, you know, with friends, customizing, you know, my shit, my character. I mean, there's just endless customization. The time you put in, I mean, it's not a waste. Your character will, will reflect the time you put in. And I mean, overall, it, just, it gives you a reason to keep coming back for more and more. I mean, I, I love the game. Mm -hmm. I'm giving it a five. Amazing job. Okay. I, I love Warframe. All right. So you guys know how we do it here. <clears throat> we have five categories. We average those out. We times them by two to give you a one to ten score. I'm doing it. I'm doing yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. In some of these. In Dom, overall, what did you give it? I gave it an eight. Okay. Uh, I mean, again, the game from start to finish, I mean, I gotta say, it was, it was so much fun. I'm still playing it now, mm -hmm. and I, I can't see myself stopping anytime soon. Yeah. How about you? Well, again, did the math. Overall, got a 7, and I gotta say, that's accurately what I would give it. It is a free-to-play game, um, so I think a 7 is pretty outstanding for a free-to-play game. I, I do enjoy it. I enjoy playing. I don't enjoy too much playing with this guy, because, I'm amazing again, and I make he's the worst teammate shit. He's the worst teammate. Amazing. He's the worst teammate ever. Really shit. But um, I give it a seven. Good job. So Warframe, you were a blast. You, I'm sure you can tell we were both very pleased by uh, everything you gave us. So Warframe, you've been reckoned. So up next, the players report. On the players report, we're going to take a look at Gamescom, which was just this past week. For more on that, Dom, what do you got? Yep, like you said, just this past week, August 21st, 25th, it was held in Germany. 
the Germans. So many different uh, or new things released, just more so uh, extended gameplay, mm -hmm. uh, such as Devil May Cry, Super Smash, uh, Resident Evil. We had to see a lot of new gameplay, which of course was exciting. You know, keeps us uh, on the edge and on the edge of our seats for these new things that we're already excited for. Very true. Um, but I, that's really what I took from it. But, uh, what do you got? Well, also uh, released on August twentieth, finally, God of War New Game Plus. As you remember, boy. But y'all don't say that. As you remember, we gave this uh, game a phenomenal score. We both loved it. Um, but the new game plus, it adds replayability. It adds an extra la layer of difficulty to all game settings. And you can get some higher level armor. So I started playing it. It definitely does add the difficulty. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty much going to enjoy playing through it. We'll see how far you get. Yeah. Not very far, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. So that's last call. I'm Isaiah. SMB Dominator 335. And reviews and whiskey, we log it off. <laughs>